Yes, uh, we are still here at the Harvest Money Expo, uh, visiting different stalls and taking you through what is really happening here and how you can learn, get the best out of whatever they are doing out here. So we are at the Carl Frabitari stall and they can tell us about this fancy uh, structure that we see here and these cute animals in here. Uh, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, my name is Dennis Walugembe. I'm the manager of Rabbit Tree. Uh, thank you guys for visiting us. I uh, like the fact you've appreciated this fancy and also cute animals. We are trying to at least uh, to change the belief of agriculture in, in Uganda, mainly the youth, because we want to do things that also youth are proud of. However much you are doing farming, you don't need to be to be dirty all the time. You don't be like to struggle a lot. You want to do, to, to do smart agriculture. Nice. So that is what you're promoting you, as you. Uh, the structure is quite smart. Your the outfit is outstanding and. Yeah, we're trying to make agriculture also fashionable so that we can attract all the youths outside there also to come into the business. Uh, basically, we major in rabbits as called rabbitry, as you can see here. We are doing commercial rabbit farming. We've done this for almost now four years. Uh, we are happy we are, this, we are in this expo, I think, for the second time, trying to preach this gospel to tell people that they can do rabbits as a business. Because we believe most of the people we have who are having rabbits, they have been doing it on a subsistence level. So we want to show them it can also be done commercially. So the problem we have is people, the challenges are having in rabbits because we've been receiving so many challenges at the expo at the moment. But the challenge is they lack market. They don't have market for rabbit meat. But before you start any business, not only agricultural farming as a business, you have to get knowledge about it. The problem is that people do not want to invest in knowledge. They don't want to invest in knowledge so that they can do what they can. People are doing businesses without knowledge about anything. That is why at the end of the day, before they even the business prospers, they are down already. Because they doesn't know what is going to do, how it benefits from it, who is going to buy this, the product and everything. So when you come at Calf, at least always organize seminars and uh, and uh, trainings at the farm to train farmers to do this as a business, not just training, as any other user business. There is a free yes. training, um, free of charge. <laughs> the people conducting the training are Dr. Emma Naluima. So for someone who would like to get into a uh, rabbit farming, like you've said, you're teaching free. people to do it on a commercial scale. The session is How can free. they get started out? What can you tell the them about? Um, what do they need to know about Take rabbits? The to just a little bit. A Basically, all they need to do, do before they start is to invest in knowledge. Let them go where there is rabbit trainings, where they see any knowledge. Go to YouTube, go to Google, search about rabbits. See the roles, the, 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 the importance of rearing rabbits. How can you do it? Because starting uh, rabbits as a business is not something you're, not, you're going to earn money immediately. But first of all, you have to get the passion. Be with the passion, love what you're going to do. Are you saying they take a longer time to mature? Not that, but to get money out of it. Meaning that because the challenge people have, people have rabbits, but they have 50 rabbits. Someone with 50 rabbits is telling me I don't have market. Me, I have a contract with the hotel which needs a thousand rabbits. So you're only having 15 rabbits. You cannot supply this market. The market is too huge. So make sure that you're planning for a long period of time. When you're doing rabbits as a business, make sure at least you have at least the, little, the, 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 the smallest number, at least 100 to 200 rabbits. Breeders, and you're still breeding. Because you cannot not do rabbits as a business if you cannot sustain. Market is made of three things. You have to, to uh, make sure that you have the quality of rabbits, good quantity, and you can do it sustainably, that you're going to sustain this market. Because if you cannot, if you want to come into this business, first of all, have the passion. Second, get the knowledge from farmers, experienced farmers, then you start. Starting is very easy. Rabbits is something you can start with even two rabbits or three rabbits and expand. Don't, These rabbits, don't they eat a lot? No, they don't eat a lot <laughs> because a, 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 one rabbit will eat 100 grams of pellets a day. The rabbit is something that is going to multiply in the shortest period of time Anybody because the rabbit gives birth in 30 days. That's the gestation the period.
It's then after I get the period, you'll give it another month just to breastfeed and look at the babies. You take it back for mating. It still gives more rabbits. The rabbit can give from seven to ten rabbits. I Meaning this is an entrepreneur which is going to expand in the shortest period of time. You don't need a lot of time. Within four months, someone who has had six rabbits is going to be having over 300 rabbits. That is it. So this is something you can Washington, come into Iraq. in the shortest period, it's expanding, free. and one assure farmers out we there that the market that is there. Training. We really have the market. Our we have an outgrower system. We need farmers to do rabbits. We go come and buy rabbits from them. Then we sell them to the hotels and the restaurants and the supermarkets. Now that's very fantastic. Do rabbits also have breeds like we see with different animals? And how do I know a good breed? Now, 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 the best breeds that for us who are targeting market, the best breeds we are having have New Zealand white. This is what, this is always white with pink eyes. There is what we call a California. This one is always white with a, a spot, a black spot on the nose and black ears. Then there is also chinchilla. It is always in grey color like that. Then there is the checkered giant. So they are best breeds we could recommend for farmers to do, those who want rabbit meat. Yes, like the ones that I've mentioned. So for someone who can, who would like to get some of the breeds you have, uh, can you give them your contact information and so that they can maybe link up with you? Yes, they can do. So what we do basically, uh, we have offices in Nabulagala Nankulabie. You just look for Calf Rabbit Ray on KHM building. Our farm is also in Kapeka. Then you can always get on, on all social media platforms, Calf Rabbit Ray Limited. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, you can find us, Calf Rabbit Ray Limited. And you can also always get us on 757-84-1010. Yes, that is the number you can call. And in case you're interested, because we do the whole value chain of the rabbits, from the breeders, the cages, we manufacture the feeds, the grass up to the plate. So we are serving rabbit meat here. I know before you leave, we will have to test some of it. We we'll have it ready here. Yes. Uh, thank you very much.